Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to make some holes. Now, it sounds pretty simple, but for some people, it can be a little challenging. I'm going to start off by putting some holes in the flat surface, and then we'll put a hole in this non-flat surface. My preference is to make a hole on a vertice where two edges cross each other. So we'll do that first method. I'm going to select a vertice. I'm going to go to my Edit Mesh menu, and I'm going to click on chamfer vertex. Everything is the default values. It creates this kind of square hole. I'm going to select that face. I'm going to go back up to edit mesh. And this time I'm going to click on add divisions. And again I'm using the default values. Go back to vertices. I'm going to select all these new vertices that we just created. And I'm going to use my scale tool and just scale those out until I get a round shape. So that's going to be our hole right there. All right, I'm going to use my split polygon tool to convert this back to quads. Usually when you're smoothing, in general, it's, you get better results if your geometry is in quads. I'm going to select all of these faces and extrude our hole. Extrude, extrude, and extrude. The reason why I did so many extrudes instead of just one is I wanted these that edge loop right there and that edge loop down there because that's going to help keep our edge from rounding off way too much. All right, F3 or just hit three for a smooth preview. Let me turn the wireframe off so you can see this a little better, hopefully. And there's our hole, a nice round hole. Very quick, very simple, very easily. All right, let's uh, do it a different method this time. Let's say you didn't have the, the option of creating a hole from a vertice and you had to create it from a polygon face. This is not my preferred method, but if I need to, I will. Okay, I'm going to start off by making my own crosshair. So sh shift, right click, split polygon tool. Very simply, we will just kind of make a crisscross pattern across that face. And now we have a vertice in the center of that face. So like we did before, I'm going to go back up to Edit Mesh Menu, go down to Chamfer Vertex, gives us our square hole. I'm going to select that face, Edit Mesh, Add Divisions. Go back to Vertices, select those new vertices that we just created, and just use our Scale tool to scale those out to make a round hole. All right, now anchoring these points is a little bit different this time. We could go ahead and bring an edge loop all the way up our object, but that's just going to add a lot of extra geometry that we really don't need to do that. So an easier way, let me use my split polygon tool, options box, reset tool. All right, I'm going to make sure the U snapping points along edge is selected. Make sure it's got a check mark by there. Number of points, I got one. That way I can snap to the center of an edge. And snapping tolerance, I'm probably just going to crank mine up to, well, I can just make it 100. All right. Just going to bring this around just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, now each one of those edges we just created, I'm going to anchor those to the points. So anchor that one, that one, and that one. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go back to the vertices. I'm going to select those three vertices there, and I'm just going to scale those until we get this square shape. So now you can see our edge flows nicely with the rest of our mesh. Do the same thing on the other side. Select those three vertices and then just scale them out until we get our box looking shape. So now we've got some nice flowing geometry and we didn't have to bring those edges all the way up or left and right on our geometry. So now we can select the faces for our hole and do our extrude. 
extrude. Let's make this a little bit deeper. Extrude one more time. Oh, hit the wrong one. There we go. Smooth preview. And there's our hole. So now you know how to make a hole from using a polygon face, and you know how to make a hole from using a vertice that lies where two edges crisscross each other. All right, if you didn't have this much room to make a hole on a face, there's one other thing you can do. It doesn't work quite as good, but it's still doable in some circumstances. All right, we're going to start the same way. Split polygon tool. We'll make our own crisscross pattern on this face. Let's select this vertice in the center. And like we did before, edit mesh, chamfer. I'm going to select the face, edit mesh, add divisions. Now with that still selected, I'm going to hold down the J. I'm going to go to my rotate tool. I must have something else selected. Yes, I do. Let me reselect those. All right, I got the rotate tool, and I'm going to hold down the letter J on my keyboard. And as I rotate, it's going to snap in 15 degree increments. So it's 15, 30, 45. I just rotate it at 45 degrees. I'm going to select those vertices, and you could have expand, uh, could have scaled these vertices out before we rotated that. Either way, it doesn't matter. So let's just rotate this to make our round hole. So something about like that. Shift, right click, split polygon tool. Just going to kind of make that shape there. And now we have two points. Let's bring those to the other corners. This time I'm going to go and select these edges and delete. And you should end up something like this. Everything is back in the quads. So now if we select these faces, we can extrude those in. Extrude again. Again, F8. Three for a smooth preview. And you can see the reason why I don't like it is because right here, on these sides, it kind of pinches the edge of the circle a little bit. So let me deselect that. I mean, it still looks great. But if you were to get really close, so it depends on how close you're going to be to your holes, uh, sometimes you can see a little pinch on these sides. But right now, that's fine. Okay, now what about a non-flat surface? Well, it's the same method. I'm just going to select a vertice, edit mesh, chamfer. Let's make this square before we do anything else. So I'm just going to... Okay, to make this a little bit easier, we can do it right there. I'm going to undo that, and let's do it on a vertice that lies directly on one of the axis, the uh, X or the y, Z axis. All right, edit mesh, chamfer. I'm going to scale those in just so we can make this more of a square. I'm going to select the face, edit mesh, add divisions, just like before. Let's go back and select our vertices. Scale those out to make our whole round. If you, wanted, if you wanted the hole bigger, you can just select all of them and just scale that to whatever size you want. I'll go with something about like that. Split polygon tool. Just like we did on our flat surface. I'm going to go to a side view just to kind of look to see how that's all lining up. Now if you need to, you can come in here and you can adjust some vertices. But I think this is going to work out fine. Do an extrude. and smooth preview. There's our hole. Thanks for watching.